Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is another makeup tutorial video, you seem to really like them, you've been requesting them, they seem to do very well, I get lots of comments, so you ask, I provide. Today we are doing a purple makeup look, as you can see, all the shades of purple, sort of a plum, a warm purple look. So stay with me as I show you how I do this. Remember, I am not a makeup artist. I am just a person who's doing her makeup and showing you how I do it. Uh, but if you have any questions at all, remember to ask down in the comments because I just love chatting to you all anyway. And you know, I'm more than happy to ask answer any questions. I will also link a couple of videos from much bigger YouTubers than me who are makeup people that I really find helpful when you know trying to explore new avenues of makeup, etc. So, if you want to recreate this gothy purple makeup look, keep on watching and remember people, potato face is just coming up. <laughs> See you in a sec. Well, potato face again. <laughs> I know how you love potato face. So, let's make it less potato-y. I'm going to do a purpley look today because why not? Why not? So, as usual, I'm going to speed up the footage and do a very nice voiceover because it will take me ages. <laughs> and trust me, you won't want to view it in real time. So, I'll see you at the end. So, my lovelies, first thing I'm doing is concealing my under eye area because it's a bit grey and sad looking as I'm getting older. <laughs> um, I watched a Wayne Goss tutorial the other day. I'm now priming my face with Benefit Professional. I watched a Wayne Goss tutorial the other day and he was saying about how um, too much foundation can make you look wrinkly, but actually the thing that really ages you is having an uneven skin tone, especially around your eyes. So I tend to cre conceal with that sort of creamy concealer to get rid of the, the grey. Now, at the moment, my skin is between shades and foundation, so I actually mix my Maybelline Fit Me 110 with the 115 uh, and apply that because uh, it seems to be the right shade for me at the moment. I tan very easily so my skin colour changes quite considerably throughout the year which is a bit of a pain. So now I'm concealing under the eyes but I'm only putting a tiny bit really under my eyes because like I said I don't want to sit in all the fine lines. I'm just trying to get an even coverage. I'm concealing the chin, down my nose, top of my forehead a little bit. Just making sure I've got all those little bits, especially into the hairline, my ears, my neck. So I've got even coverage. Now I am setting that with Emotional Brilliance from Lush. Again, not too much. I'm not baking. I'm just setting because apparently once you get over 30, if you bake, it can sit in the fine lines around your eyes and make you look older. So there you go. This is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I love this stuff. And I'm putting it liberally all over my eyes and into my eyebrows as well so that my eyebrow pomade sticks. A little bit more, just, you know, to be sure. So I'm using Eyelure Dark Brown Eye Pomade. I think it's shade 10. And a very sharp angled brush. Just try and get what my mum calls the spider, what, the spider leg shape. <laughs> which amuses me, but it's, it's kind of true. It does look like a spider leg. So the, uh, as usual, can't get them to be exactly the same, but eyebrows are sisters, not twins, so. Trying to get them so they look vaguely similar though is um, a challenge. All right, now I'm using my, uh, one of my big fluffy uh, blending brushes in this sort of pinky shade and we're uh, I'm using that all around my crease right up to almost up to my eyebrow to give it a real um, transition color and a little bit under the eyes just to really define around the eyes and now I'm using this pinky purple shade on the lids I'm going for a lighter shade on the lids using a flat brush to apply that you don't want to blending brushes are fluffy flat brushes are for packing color on apparently and now I'm using this 
gorgeous shimmery plum colour that came in this palette. It's the best shade in the palette. And I'm applying that to slightly above my crease to, because I need to make a false crease because as I've explained in previous videos I have very hooded eyes and to uh, try and make them look more open I create a false crease with my, my crease shade. Just getting rid of a little bit of the edge. And another Wayne Goss tutorial, he said that to, if you've got too harsh a line of eyeshadow around your eyes, to use your um, beauty blender or a little one of those little um, foam wedges and a little bit of preferably cream foundation, he said. But, you know, if all you've got is normal foundation, use that. But uh, and use that just to soften the edges of the, um, the shape around your eyes so it's not quite so harsh. Just putting a little bit of that purple colour under my eyes with a, a finer brush and now blending it out with a blending brush and now I'm using this really really light shimmery pink shade just right in the middle of my lid just to give it it's almost like a highlight for your eye so the light hits it gives it more depth more depth and now I am lining my eyes with the Maybelline gel liquid eyeliner and the little brush going right up to the waterline really getting right in there and doing my uh, my cat my wing trying to get the shape so that it looks like it's flicking up to the end of your eyebrow there we go a little bit on the under on the lower lashes and then buff it out with a little, little sponge on the bottom and now I am tight lining with this teeny tiny little uh, eyeliner, which is drawing on the waterline, the inner waterline, which is fun. And now I am using my Maybelline Snap Scara to colour in those lashes because it looks really weird if you don't put mascara on with all that eyeliner. I like this one because it's where it's got the slightly shaped brush. It's much easier to get into those little little tiny lashes on the bottom. And the ones right in the corner edge of your eye. Now I've got a small brush and I am using my Maybelline Holographic Highlighter just in the the knee, the inside knee of that, that spider leg. A little bit on the tip of the nose and then a little bit right on the top of my cheekbones to catch the light. Now I'm using my Revolution Contour and Highlight Palette. I'm using that shade to contour. A bit much on there. <laughs> Use this brush to buff it out. And get a little bit on either side of the nose and just at the top of the head where your widow's peak is this is my my lovely lip balm it's really really yummy try and prep my lips right this is the mac lip preparation primer prep and prime before i put on this lovely shade of lipstick which is called dead roses by pretty zombie cosmetics and then there's the painstaking job of drawing your lips on I tend to try and get into the cupid's bow first and then get out to the edges. I watched a Mikey from Van and Gore um, tutorial and she said that if you want to make your lips look thicker, you don't actually need to overline the whole way around. You just need to make them slightly overlined in the corners of your mouth. But it's definitely an art because otherwise, if you're not careful, you look like Marilyn Manson. <laughs> so, and not in a good way. And now I'm setting my, my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I hope you like that look. I'm really pleased with it. I really like it. I do love that purple shade that I've put here in the crease. It's just such a beautiful shade of purple. It really goes beautifully with that Dead Roses lipstick as well. They just really work together really, really well, you know, and it's just a fairly easy, you know, fun look. Really, really enjoyed doing that. So uh, remember to like this video, comment down below if you've got any questions about the makeup, if you want any tips at all, I will link a couple of videos that I find helpful in doing makeup. A lot of people seem to really like having these tutorial videos, um, you know, that I link from other people because, you know, I'm a makeup artist. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already it really really helps I'm really appreciative of all of you that already do and remember to hit that notification bell thank you so so much for watching remember people stay heavy